Titan server has the ability to access data files stored both locally through a drive letter and remotely using SMB and a UNC, or Universal Naming Convention. When running Titan server on a virtual machine in the Microsoft Azure cloud, you have the option to store your data locally on the C, D, or E drives of the Azure virtual machine, or you can store your data files securely on a remote Azure file storage account. This tutorial video shows the steps to configure an Azure file storage account in the Azure portal and access that file storage object from a UNC. Before starting, ensure that you have created a storage account in your Azure portal account. Additionally, ensure that you have an Azure file share created within the storage account. For this example, I've created an Azure storage account with the name Storage Demo Test 2025 and an Azure file share name Storage Demo File Share 2025. Within your Azure portal, navigate to the storage account of interest, open the access keys menu, and note the storage account name and the access key of interest. When you're ready to begin, on the Windows server that has Titan installed, open a command prompt and issue a net use command to mount the Azure file storage. The format for Azure is objectname.file.core.windows.net and this can be copied from the file share object in the Azure portal UI. So you'll notice the object name that I created goes first, followed by core, file core windows net, and then the name of the specific file share that I had created. The next step will ask for the username. In this case, you enter your object name, so your storage account name. For the password, this is one of your access keys for your storage account. You'll want to paste this value in. Once you enter that successfully, you see the command completed successfully. This means that it is now mounted and available uh, for access from the system and viewable within Windows Explorer. The next step is to persist these credentials in the Windows Credentials Manager. So from the start, run Windows Credential Manager. And when it opens, choose Windows Credentials add a Windows credential. Here you'll want to set up a very similar uh, setup to what you did before, except without the net use. So now you're just entering the name of the object. Again, dot file, dot core, dot windows, dot net. And then a backslash to the data file share that you created. Username again is just the name of the object. So the same as before. And the password again, the same as that access key from previously. Once you've done that, it gets added. You can check, see that it is added. And what that means is that now you can restart your Windows Server operating system and the UNC share access will persist through your next login. These Azure credentials can be added to the UNC accounts setting in order to give end user connectivity to these locations and or added to the service account for end users and events automation to be able to use within Titan. Within Titan, you can also use this fully qualified UNC path for accessing the storage. Uh, for example, you can edit a user and set their home directory to use the path. Thank you for watching this video to see how to configure and use Azure file storages within your Titan server environment. For more details on Titan server, visit our support desk knowledge base articles and check out more videos on our YouTube channel.